What's good YouTube, so Tirios here back with another day trading video. Today is January the 31st, 2022, end of the month. I finished, um, well, all my trades throughout the month were very nice, um, and this is the last day of the month, so I wanted to take it fairly easy. I only took three trades, two of which were recorded, and one was not. Market's about to open here in about five seconds, and... We are going to take a first trade on Tesla. Market is open now. And I'm targeting Tesla bottom right screen um, for a pullback to get in. Um, right here I'm looking at the 880 calls. Um, as you see, uh, Tesla bounced up overnight. Um, and I'm about to get in here on the 880 calls. I'm going to market order and I get filled at the highest price. Um, it's a bad idea, a very bad idea to market order this. Um, but I'm basically targeting that red supply zone. Um, I see NASDAQ in the top right and S&P, or the ES futures um, in the top left, um, both mirroring each other. And uh, I'm looking at Tesla. I see this push up, so I decide to get in here. Um, messing around with my contracts right now on E-Trade. And... Right here, I get filled two contracts at twenty-five ninety-five a piece. Overall, spending about fifty-two hundred dollars on this trade, um, and I'm fine holding this through uh, one or two-minute pullback um, on this green candle that's forming. Uh, but I am I'm sure that Tesla is going to go up to that eight eighty level, um, which I'm targeting in that supply zone. So just watching here, um, seeing what price action is doing, and uh, I'm going to just fast forward um, a little bit. I got into the trade at 9.30 a.m. and got out at 9.34 a.m., um, so I'm just going to fast forward this for you. So as you see, Tesla's starting to push back up. Uh, NASDAQ and SPY both sold off in that first one or two minutes um, from the market open. And uh, just looking for a push on the NASDAQ and the SPY and Tesla um, for a move to the upside. Um, it looks like the NASDAQ's going to, top right screen, is going to retest the uh, supply zone and maybe reject off it. Um, but I figured that sell-off in the first two minutes was pretty quick, so uh, buyers might be factored in here into the market. So I'm still holding this Tesla position, held through about two minutes of consolidation, or two minutes of a pullback. Um, would have been a good entry to get in. Um, I was down on the position. But here, as you see, Tesla starts to rip, um, getting closer to the 880 level. Uh, I scale out one contract here, and I'm out at 28.75. Um, overall, making about almost 300 bucks on that trade and here I take out my second contract at 2970 overall making about $655 on this trade hindsight Tesla is now sitting around $920 um, so I could have held but uh, just went the quick move because you never know a reaction off this supply zone um, could be a very big red candle to the downside so I'm getting in for my piece of the pie I don't need the whole pie so about seven minutes off the open, um, I take my second trade. Uh, I'm looking at the top NASDAQ, and right here I get filled 10 contracts betting uh, for the NASDAQ, um, trading the QQQ calls to go to the upside. I get filled 10 contracts at $1.93 apiece. Overall, spending about $1,930 on this trade. Um, I know that the NASDAQ and the SPY are both in supply, so I'm looking for a quick move here, um, which I get right on this candle, and I actually get out five contracts there at 208, and um, I'm about to get filled another five contracts at 199 um, right here on this pullback. Overall, making about $105 on this trade. So for the last and final trade um, of the day, I'm looking at Tesla here, and I actually get in right on this breakout right here. Um, my order screen is not recording. Um, the program actually crashed, and I wasn't able to record. But uh, I just got in for a quick move on Tesla, um, targeting 
nine hundred dollars, uh, which is the level basically. Uh, it's like two or three dollars away from that level. But as you see in the bottom, volume is starting to increase. And I just got in a one contract at twenty eight ninety eight a piece. Overall, spent about twenty eight hundred ninety eight dollars. Um, and I get out on the same minutes. Um, I'm out by now uh, at with one contract at twenty nine thirty five. So overall, uh, making about thirty five dollars on that trade. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my live trading from January thirty first, twenty twenty two. Um, great way to end off the month in the green. And uh, hopefully February will treat us just as good, if not better. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends and family. And uh, that's all I got to say. A nice, easy 30-minute work day, and I was done by about 10.07 a.m. Uh, so that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.